My friends, before I uh, talk about things about Israel, I want to say something about the scenes on television that I saw today and you have been seeing as well. When tragedy strikes America, Israel won't. Israel feels an immediate identification. And tragedy has struck America. In recent days, floods and tornadoes have claimed the lives of hundreds of Americans, including today in Joplin, Missouri. All I can say is, America, we're with you on this day, on every day. And that's very evident from the things I just heard from my two close friends, Speaker of the House John Boehner, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. You lead the many friends who are here today, the distinguished senators and congressmen and congresswomen of the United States of America. I want to greet uh, APAC President Lee Rosenberg. Rosie, I learned the other day that if I take you on, it's not going to be in basketball, it will be in soccer. And Executive Director Howard Kaur, Howard, you I'm not going to take on in anything. I want to welcome here also the representatives of the Government of Israel, members of Knesset, U.S. Ambassador to Israel, Jim Cunningham, Ambassador-designate, Dan Shapiro, my beloved wife and the mother of our two boys, Sarah, and finally, our terrific Ambassador to the United States, a man who knows a few things about the U.S.-Israel alliance, Michael Oren. To all our supporters in this great hall, and to the millions of supporters across this great land, the people of Israel, thank you. Thank you for your staunch commitment to Israel's security. Thank you for defending Israel's right to defend itself. Thank you for standing by Israel as it seeks a secure peace. Now, I heard tonight from all the speakers something that you know, that Israel is America's indispensable ally. You understand that Israel and America stand shoulder to shoulder, fighting common enemies, protecting common interests. You know that Israeli innovators help power computers, fight disease, conserve water, clean the planet. Your support for Israel flows from the heart. You see, it's not just what Israel does. It's what Israel is. Now, let me explain that. Yesterday, I had a great day. 
they let me out. Sarah and I could actually go for a walk. And I have to congratulate the um, American security uh, services. They're a little more generous than ours. So we walked along the Potomac. And we got to visit Washington's majestic memorials. I read Jefferson's timeless words, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I read Lincoln's immortal address, government of the people, for the people, by the people. Now let me tell you why these words resonate so powerfully with me and with all Israelis. Because they're rooted in ideas first championed by our people, the Jewish people. The idea that all men are created in God's image. That no ruler is above the law. That everyone is entitled to justice. These are revolutionary Jewish ideas. And they were spoken thousands of years ago when vast empires ruled the earth. Vast slave empires ruled the world and the Jews spoke these truths. Israel is the cradle of our common civilization. It's the crucible of our common values. And the modern state of Israel was, was founded precisely on these eternal values. And this is why Israel's more than one million Muslims enjoy full democratic rights. This is why the only place in the Middle East where Christians are completely free to practice their faith is the democratic state of Israel. And this is why Israel, and only Israel, can be trusted to ensure the freedom for all faiths in our eternal capital, the United City of Jerusalem. My friends, Israel and America have drawn from these uh, deep wellsprings of our common values. We forged an enduring friendship, not merely between our governments, but between our peoples. Support for Israel doesn't divide America, it unites America. It unites the old and the young, liberals and conservatives, Democrats and Republicans, and yes, Joe Lieberman, it even unites independence. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to salute one of the great senators in my lifetime, a man who's given unbelievable service to his country, America, and has been unbelievably dedicated to Israel and the Jewish people. Thank you, Joe Lieberman. You see, this, this broad support for Israel in the United States is a, a tremendous help and gives tremendous strength 
to my country. And since Harry Truman, Israel has looked to American presidents to stand by it as we meet the unfolding challenges of a changing world. Yesterday, President Obama spoke about his ironclad commitment to Israel's security. He rightly said that our security cooperation is unprecedented. He spoke of that commitment just, just in front of the AIPAC. He spoke about it in two speeches heard throughout the Arab world. And he has backed those words with deeds. See, I know these are tough economic times. So I want to thank the President and Congress for providing Israel with vital assistance so that Israel can defend itself by itself. I want to thank you all for supporting the Iron Dome missile defense system. A few weeks ago, Hamas terrorists in Gaza fired eight rockets at our cities, at Ashkelon and Beersheba. Now, these rockets never reached our targets. Iron Dome intercepted them in midair. For the first time, a missile defense system worked in combat. That's a precedent in military history. And I want to say thank you, America. Now, America and Israel are cooperating in many other ways as well. We're cooperating in science, in technology, in trade, in investment. See, it's not only American companies that are investing in Israel. It's Israeli companies investing in America. In the last decade, Israeli companies have invested more than $50 billion in the United States. One of those Thank you. Thank you.